To download V-Ray Next, we need to access the Chaos Group website. And you need to create an account on the site. You can enter the site from sign in. If you are not a member, you can use create account button. You can find V-Ray for SketchUp on the products tab on the site. Clicking try free 30 days will take you to the login. I log in to the site with my account. Previously, I downloaded V-Ray Next. Gives me a warning because I downloaded it earlier. If you are downloading V-Ray for the first time, it will give you some options, like business and individual. You can choose individual. After that, it will direct you to download section. In this section, you will find V-Ray Next versions. You can download the top one. Hotfix means software is updated. I downloaded this before, now let's install it. Install it first as an administrator. My SketchUp version is 2018. Uncheck the others. I'm not gonna install V-Ray Swarm because I don't have a network license. I will install it just on my personal computer. Leave the license server. You can license the V-Ray during install. V-Ray will soon give us some choice. If it does not show an option, you can activate it with Manage Chaos License Server. And yes, that's what I'm talking about. You can enter your license information in these boxes. The installation says the activation is successful. Let's open the SketchUp. At first opening, V-Ray menus can be scattered. You can move these menus anywhere you want. Let's go to the Asset Editor and add a material. If the material appears in the preview, the license process was successful. Hit the render button. Yes, it's working. If V-Ray does not ask you for a license while installing, you can log in from the Manage Chaos License Server. My license is active. I can log out and log back in.
See you next lesson.